I owe an apology, but I need to get somewhere where I can explain. I only have seven bucks for gas right now, but nonetheless, I gotta stop for gas real quick and then on to my apology. I've been using this for pretty much all the videos, even for the selfie shots and everything. I think that's a bad idea, um, not that it's a bad product, this thing works great on the go because you can sit it anywhere without holding the camera, although trying to stabilize the shots with this has not been good. I think it's in part the, um, the lens, the particular lens on this model, but it's given me some trouble using this to keep stable footage. I found myself confused with this so I stopped using it but uh, I'm actually gonna go back to using this thing because the footage with this has not been as stable as I was hoping so we're gonna see more videos with this uh, let me to put it into a perspective that'll probably be easier to let me show you some sample footage and this is using the tripod so right now I'm showing footage using the tripod instead of the uh, stabilizer Okay, so now I'm using the stabilizer, the gimbal, instead of the tripod. And I can already tell a difference walking. So yeah, that being said, that just kind of shows you an example between the, uh, the tripod and the gimbal. And again, I haven't been using the gimbal, I just I felt overwhelmed with it. I guess I just haven't had enough practice with it and, and used it enough, but going forward I'm going to start using it uh, more often, try to get a little bit more used to the gimbal. The tripod's still good for like those, you know, certain cinemagraphic shots where I can just set it on a table or attach it to anything and then get a shot. It's good for that. Again, sorry for some of the shaky footage recently. Uh, I've been noticing that watching back some of the vlogs, but uh, going forward I think this will help out going back to the gimbal. I uh, hope you guys enjoy these uh, boring videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.